My name is Kay Satterfield, and I am on the pastoral team of Ignatius House Retreat Center. The Lent journey invites us to take time to recognize our faults and sins with sincerity and truth. We are asked to consider honestly when we have turned away from God and when we have turned away from love. The point is not to beat ourselves up, but to help us to grow in freedom and truth so that we can grow more in the loving persons we hope to be. The question is often, can we trust in God's mercy to set us free? I went on my own retreat recently at Ignatius House. During the retreat, I had the pleasure of sitting in a chair at the top of the waterfall on property. It is a fairly new and cherished spot for retreatants to sit and listen to the water rushing while it streams over the rocks and down the hill. The morning sun was warm against my back as I sat there in prayer, trying to just be present to the moment and to the nature around me. As I was praying, the thought came to my mind that my sins and failures are just water under the bridge. Often forgiving ourselves can be the hardest thing. We live with regret. And as I considered this thought, my sins are just water under the bridge, I looked up and there was the bridge and there was the water running under it. It was not a tearful moment for me, but more of a, okay, God, I get it. I was smiling at God and I felt God smiling at me saying, let it all go into the river of my love and care. It is all washed away. You are free. Go now and serve in love. At this recent retreat I attended, Father Peter Fink shared his wisdom. He said the sacrament of baptism as the highlight of the Easter season is not about washing away original sin, but more about filling us up with a relationship with Jesus Christ. It is not about how bad I am, but how am I called into a deeper relationship with Jesus as a more committed Christian? How am I called to a deeper love? St. Ignatius taught that love shows itself more in deeds than in words. At the end of the spiritual exercises, Ignatius invites us to look upon the world with God's eyes. What does God see? He also invites us to consider how we are called to bring God's love and care into the world here and now in the lives that we have been given. How are we being invited to serve as Jesus taught the disciples at the Last Supper? How are we invited to wash each other's feet. Lent is meant to be a time of renewal, a change of heart or metanoia. In response to God's merciful love toward us, can we grow our hearts to be more compassionate toward ourselves and our neighbor, particularly our neighbor in need? How is God calling you forth this Lent in loving service bringing compassion and mercy to your family, friends, neighbors, community, and world. Peace be with you.